Hey guys, this is going to be another Halo tutorial. Today, what I'm going to show you is how to spawn the Sparrow as well as bipeds using the Forge menu uh, in a way that actually spawns it on the ground. Uh, due to the limitations in Halo, you can't spawn bipeds or giant targs such as the Sparrow directly by a forge. If you try and spawn the Sparrow giant targ directly, it will spawn miles up in the air. And if you try and spawn a biped, it will spawn it. But if you then start a new round or you save the map variant, it won't spawn when you then load up that variant or start that new round. So to get around that, the easiest way, and I think the only way really, is to spawn it via effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we just load in the map now, I've got a startup pre-injected into the map. I'll show you what I mean by it spawns up in the air. Then I'll exit the map and then I'll show you how to change that. So if I just open up the SCNR tag and I just search for sandbox vehicles, I'm going to replace the Banshee in the Forge menu or the Brick Chopper even with the Giant tag. So if I can find a Giant Scarab. So as far as the game is concerned now that as the startup. So I go to vehicles and chopper. As you can see, the startup is way up in the air. And obviously that's not what you want. So to get around that, we're going to ignore the SCNR tab now. And we're going to go into scenery. And we're going to take the respawn point. This one here. Objects, multi, spawning, respawn point. Right. We're going to duplicate it. And in this case, we'll just call it objects, giants, spawning, startup, duplicate. I'll just close that off actually. Uh, and then if we go back into scenery, we will see here. We've got a new one. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to Effect, start again, and we're going to find a, an effect that we want to duplicate as well. So what I normally do myself is I will take the pistol, the Magnum, uh, and we're going to take the weapons, pistol, Magnum, effects and firing and we're going to duplicate that so once again giants and I'll just do spawning a startup duplicate that while open that once again go back to effects actually what I'll do is well as well just do that Effects and then spawning start. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to spawn for now. Can't remember if that's actually needed, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to change the duration bounds minimum and the duration bounds maximum to one e plus thirty two. Uh, the reason for that is what it basically means that the effect will last for however long that actually is. It's for all intents and purposes, it's essentially forever. Uh, we're then going to change the runtime base group tag to object. Then we're going to find the giant tag. I'm going to make it into a startup. I'm going to save that as it is. Then what we'll do is we'll go back to scenery, we'll open up our giant spawning startup 
and you can see here there's a, a block that's empty called attachments. What we're going to do is we're going to add a block to it. So plus one. Open it up. And we're going to make it an effect. So FA. Effect. Go to search or startup. Go right down to the bottom. There we go. Objects, giant, spawning, startup. Now this thing here is a marker. We're going to want, because we're using a respawn point, we go into the render model and we have a look at the marker routes. And this one we've got effect and you've got spawn. Basically, that just tells it where to locate that effect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set the attachment marker to spawn. Because obviously, that's where you'd normally spawn. We're going to save that. Okay. And then we'll go back into SCNR. Actually, first, what we'll also do is we're going to change the object type to an ordinary and we're going to untick this editor. Well, I remember. Now we're going to SCNR and we'll just do what we did before. So we're going to change this to a scenery, S C E N. And we're going to find our giant star up. Go. I'm going to save that. And then we will load back into the game. So hold in. So here, we'll move on to this point here. And then we'll spawn. And as you can see, there is a startup. Right? Now, because you're doing it this way, this here is the startup spawn point. You can't pick the startup up or move it or that, but wherever this is, that is where the startup will spawn. So for that first one, I actually deleted it immediately. And then for the second one, it is here. And if I go to start new round, it will spawn at that point there. Way over there. This is the method that's used for giants and as well bipeds because if you don't, like I say, with the star it spawns off in the sky and with both the star up and any other biped what will happen is you start a new round or you save your map variant it's gone. It won't spawn again. This way you can save it into a map variant and you can then load up that map variant and it will still spawn. Obviously provided you still have the modified map file. But yeah, that's just a, it's just a short tutorial on it. Uh, and then obviously if you've got a working star then it will work. But yeah, if you if you enjoy the tutorial, sat and make, please uh, subscribe, give me a like, whatever you want to do. And uh, I will see you in the next video.